Hey, looters, Pete here on Monday, June 8th. And honestly, I'm still trying to recover from what Game of Thrones did to my emotions last night. But you know what's gonna make us all feel better? Your looter news. Let's get to it. So William Shatner, AKA Captain James Tiberius Kirk of the USS Enterprise is getting set to start on a new mission to explore strange new worlds, seek out new life and new civilizations and boldly go where no man has gone before. Kind of. It's actually a very popular highway. The Star's Trek is raising awareness for the American Legion by driving across the country on a three wheel rivet motorcycle built by American Wrench. The trip will start in Chicago on June 23rd and last around eight days, during which Shatner will travel down Route 66 and stop in a few major cities along the way, like St. Louis, Albuquerque, and Las Vegas, before making his final stop in LA on the 30th. Shatner summed it all up by saying, quote, I am taking another step into the unknown. A phenomenal bike made by American Wrench and a 2400 mile journey where the road holds the big mystery. Now, hopefully he's managed to price line negotiate some sick hotel deals along the way. The whole trip is being filmed for an upcoming TV show with no current air date, but it doesn't sound like something you'll want to miss. Now, looters, something you may not know about rockets is that they're they're actually pretty wasteful. They're, they're pretty much like a one and done affair. And now there are a couple of companies who are working pretty hard to fix that. SpaceX has been publicizing their efforts to create a reusable rocket system with the Falcon 9, and they're supposedly getting pretty close. Their method involves aerodynamic wings, retro rockets, which are actually not as littered in 80s movie references as you might think, and a landing platform, along with a ton of science that I honestly do not understand. Airbus, who you know for making planes with hilariously blunt names, is working on a bullet-shaped rocket housing with wings called Adeline. The Adeline housing would help launch the rockets into space, then break off and gently glide back to Earth. Once inside the atmosphere, Adeline launches propellers to help it fly safely back to base, ready for another launch. It's probably slightly more complex than that, but the video Airbus release looks awesome and has very unnecessarily dramatic music, and you can watch it at the link down below. And naturally, about now, you're wondering what it looks like when a rocket does fall back to Earth. And SpaceX has you covered there with some amazing GoPro footage from the Falcon 9's descent. Basically, there's a ton of rolling and the sun is crazy bright. So, you know, if you ever become an astronaut, pack your Ray-Bans. You can see that video down below as well. All right, looters, thanks for joining us for another amazing episode of Looter News. Are you excited to watch the elderly Captain Kirk tricycle his way across the nation? And did you prefer the SpaceX live action video to the Airbus CG projection? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below for a chance to win three months of loot. And as always, click that big, beautiful subscribe button to, you guessed it, subscribe. We'll see you Wednesday.